Let's check out your session. Yeah. Okay. It looks like you're sitting in Puerto Rico right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's too funny, man. But what happened is, so you paddled, and right up here, you, you know, your your head is kind of looking down. So you should look here. Like turn your head towards mm -hmm. the shoulder. Yeah. So basically, you were saying that I had to look in that direction, right, Yuri? And my question was, what about the uh, the board? The board is completely like not in the right direction. Right. Uh -huh. So the board should also be angled, right? Yeah. You see, like it's like come, it's 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 going all, all straight. Sometimes you can go that way if uh, the wave is like really mellow. Really, mm -hmm. really mellow. Then you can uh, you know go like towards the steeper section so that you can get more speed. Uh, here's yeah. like the uh, the wave is uh, it has a nice face. It's not too steep, not too uh, fat. Uh, so you could have angled like a little bit more. Uh, okay. Here. Yeah. So the board could have angled this way okay. a little bit, and then you could just go straight like from to here, uh, not losing speed because you lost a lot of speed uh by uh you know making that bottom turn right i always do that i always go towards the bottom of the wave and then you know because i don't know how to pump i can't get back up so i pretty much surf flat yeah you, so you you popped up you went bottom you already lost speed and right. then it kind of recovered and then kept going right. uh while you could just if you would angle right you would be already uh, using gravity, you would be already here. Mm -hmm. okay. And could pump and do like, you know, some other turns. So you don't have to go like this down. It's mm -hmm. not necessary here at all. Um, let's talk about your knee. Since your head looking down, mm -hmm. right? Your back goes up too. If you hold back. See like. It's it's like sticking out. Right? Nice. So if you would uh, pop up under the angle, if you would commit yeah. and then paddle this way, so you would be in better position. You will be able to pop up normal uh, as you do uh, on the ground, right? When you when you right. do pop up at home, yeah. Uh, you do you, your knee tucked in properly, I assume, right? Yeah, it looks a lot better than when in, in the water. Mm -hmm. So definitely try to start popping up like sideways, going sideways. I think that's big for me. Like I think that that's a, a basic thing that I think will, will help because it's it's crazy. Yeah, on all of my footage, I always pop up facing kind of the beach. So yeah, and then you see here you really off the down feet are on the rail on that. Right inside the rail and really slow you down right really. it's kind of like breaking and like yeah breaking right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and uh you know you, you also try to maybe reach your uh your front foot like right land between this reach here like right between your arms my front foot should be there the front yeah that's the perfect. So, because your your front looks, uh, your front foot uh, looks like it's landing a little bit further down, uh, making the board sort of uh, be more on the back, more weight on the back side. Yeah, a little bit the wider than slightly, yeah. slightly wider. Uh, so that's uh, I mean the key. So once you fix that, then you can uh, go further in. Um, you know, in turn, in, in, in maneuvers and other things, because this is a really fundamental stuff in general. Mm -hmm. uh, this is gonna slow you down. If you if you don't fix it now, it's gonna have more issues later when the race right. get bigger, or you know, depending on conditions, steeper. So you, you want to really uh, be more focused on that. And then from there, you 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 will just progress further quickly. Because this is just a thing that uh, slows you down. 
you, you know, generating speed and stuff, you don't have to do that. It's like once you fix your pop up quickly, then you can, you know, uh, you don't have to work hard. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Cool. So let's, this is one clip and let's check the second clip. Uh, can you see the screen? Oh, it's not. Uh, no, I can only see you now in Puerto Rico. <laughs> All right, how about this one? Now I can see it, right? Oh boy, what's this? This wave. I mean, same thing. I feel like it's yeah, you're yeah. looking down, straight down. And then the same, same, same thing happened. You know? Yeah. I've been doing this for a long time now. Huh? I've been on this kind of um we kind of stuck at this, I feel, for a long time, where every single wave, the takeoff looks exactly like this. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just uh, commit to paddle sideways. Right. right. I think that would be good. Don't even paddle like right. straight, like this. Completely sideways and pop up sideways, and you go from there, and we'll see what's going to change. Oh, but I'm sure it's going to start getting there and there. Uh, you see how the front of the board is is slapping quite a lot up and down it's is it because i'm too much in the back of the board yeah yeah definitely mm -hmm. definitely like it's could be a little bit further down uh mm -hmm. and you know your your back foot yeah it could be it's it's pretty narrow you know this way same thing. Same. It's always the same. You do, you do that bottom turn, and then you kind of like recover to the face. Yeah. So then I go into yeah. desperation mode, you know, where I start to get really low because I'm desperate to, like, continue. Uh, so I think that pushes me down a lot because I'm like, oh, my God, like, I, I lost so much speed. Like, I... Why, why do you crunch? What, do you, what, what goes through your... I think it's that. I think it's that, Yuri. It's like I find myself in positions where I feel like I have almost no speed. So, like, my last kind of resort is like I'm going to go down and it's going to help me sort of move a little bit, I guess, through this section. I don't know. I, I think it's hard to explain. I don't really understand why so much crouching. Because um, I don't do it with skate. Uh, so. Yeah. So what's uh, happening with your balance board? Do you do you still do squats and stuff? Or you don't do squats? I haven't been very good at that. No, I haven't been practicing like squats on the balance board. So you feel uh, unbalanced when you're on, on on the board. Feel like you're losing. Balance. I think it's like you know I I'm not no I'm not I'm not sure I'm not sure Yuri I think it's more of like I do really don't know how to generate speed. I surf myself to the bottom of the wave as, as we've analyzed. So once I'm there, speed is kind of a, I don't know how to generate it. So I think my reaction is to go low to attempt to make the board move forward a bit faster. You know what which, happens? Which is you, wrong. You should, you should stop thinking about generating speed. <laughs> hmm. Because generating speed, that's not what you need to work on now. In general, mm -hmm. you know, you, you need to first fix this, um, the paddling and, you know, pop up. Right. right. Then we're going to talk, you know, you can start focusing on generating speed because without this fundamental stuff, you know, body positioning, right. Being more relaxed, like, uh, and then straight up your back when you go, uh, you will be struggling further, like pumping and down the line. Right. Uh, so right. definitely don't even think about any speed. The board gives you a lot of speed. This board, the beyond, you don't have to work a lot to mm -hmm. but once you get more comfortable, you know, straight up your back and going just down the line, not thinking about <laughs> generating speed, then you can uh you know then, then we'll, you know you can you can work further. Yeah. But, but for now, just uh, angle pop up and angle, straight angle back. Pop up. Yeah, angle pop up, pop up, straight up your back, and then just chill and go. You right. know, right. Your gotcha. Arms back and then 
and then write it. Just enjoy just writing down the line. Just <laughs> no turns, nothing. This this is I think you you progress kind of quickly and some way to settle. You pop up quick, right? Uh, comparing to other people uh, who has been struggling with that, uh, but you know that's why serving takes a lot of time. You if you skip a lot of different things quickly, then it might it might stick to it and. and I know, I know. It's it's, it's you start create bad habits, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, before you, you get those habits, you can still in the initial step uh, fix that because your your need tucked in here like pro- nicely, right? The angle, the, the stance is kind of too narrow because you kind of crunch, right? It's right. He's thinking, hey, if I lay stay low, I would get more speed. Uh, mm. But while you're staying, you kind of frozen, and then the wave is already done. So, but standing like this in this section, it's not going to give you a lot of speed. No yeah, yeah, it makes sense. I, I, I also, I, I totally understand what you're saying. I just, I was trying to understand why I do the crouching because there's nothing before I go in the water that's like, oh man, today I'm going to do crouching. You know what I mean? Like that's never fought. But then when I'm in the water, the instinct, uh, comes to to this crouching position which is funny like why it occurs i don't <laughs> see many other people doing this so. yeah I, I think some people they grab the rail and they never mm-hmm. uh, they strike from the t- pop-up they grab the rail uh that mm-hmm. uh outside rail mm-hmm. and they just go <laughs> <laughs> and they don't want to read that rail because they think they're gonna lose the bounce uh, but yeah man i i think angling the takeoff will put me in a much better position, I think, to... Oh, yeah, this one is a little bit better. A little bit, just a little bit, yeah. So you popped up. You can now look down. Such an easy wave, right? Like such a... Yeah, so you popped up and then crunched a little bit, then you straight out your back. And then try to and throw your arm, again. generate speed. Looks like. And then I finished like super crouched. Um, how is my stance on this? I wanted to ask you, Yuri. Is it too wide? No, it's fine. It's totally fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's so totally fine. It's just you know the way it was a little bit wonky too. So uh, what I w- I would actually do if you know you would you go down the line. I would already do like a kind of like a snap and then come back. Uh, mm-hmm. But in your case, uh, so you popped up, what do you want to do? Like straight up, you would straight up back here and just like, Oops. just ride, you know, normally. Don't do a lot of things with your arms. Gotcha, yeah. Uh, and then just uh, try to be relaxed on the wave, just, uh, mm-hmm. Just write it, you know, mm, because more we, like a, we need. right, more like a long, long border, I guess. Yeah, yeah, just just get to that point that you can just get that style, like you, yeah. you don't have to move around hands and things. Just try to get that flow, relax, right. relax right. And get that flow. Don't even think about you know what you do on the, on the skateboard on surf skate. Cool. It's great, but in the words, you, you you don't have to do that a lot. Yeah, yeah. What they do on the surf speed, this is more for shoreboarding uh, in general, but when you're on the mid length and the bigger board, this, this is not applic- applicable for now. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Because okay. first, the board is big to, for you to generate speed as well. Uh, yeah, you you might be able to do that on a 6'4, six, 6'6 six, six, based on your weight, uh, because you have to really move that huge board around. If you want to pump down the line, uh, so on the seven R, you want to treat it as a not a long bar, but just for just to glide. Yeah. For eight. And uh, and then once you get more comfortable, then you can start uh, doing other things. Thank you, man. That makes a lot of sense to me, and I think it paints like a very clear. Uh, Tra- trajectory you know so i don't get so distracted with because there's so many things you know to learn but it's good to 
like just focus on the angle pop up and straight back essentially. Straight back. Just, just, this little this little thing that focus on that and that's it. And then mm-hmm. uh, you know stick to it for a little bit and see how it's gonna go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so here again, like waste selection as, as well. Uh, you know, you don't waste your energy. Don't go for closeouts. You see, if you're here, I usually already, when, when I see this section coming, I usually be more, uh, more uh, calculation. Uh, is it worth to go waste your energy? So uh, like on this wave, you, what I do when I go and, you know, I see the waves, I even paddle for a little bit, then I uh, check, you know, I look the whole of this area. If I see like maybe 15, 20 feet away, I see this white wire thing, you know, this is already crumbling like that. It means it's gonna be closed up. It's not worth it. You can just back up and then wait for the next wave. Yeah. Because um, in, 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 in all, now, yeah, looking down again. I mean, in, in, in all honesty, when I wrote this wave, I, I, I actually didn't think this was gonna, I, I just don't know how to read yet properly. So actually, I, I don't, I definitely didn't think this one was going to close out on me, so I didn't like analyze it properly, you know. Yeah, when you start paddling, actually, before you even come, you can already see what's happening with the other side of the wave. Uh, you know, this this could be a good ride too. You know, if you if you go if you went the other way. <laughs> yeah. You no, know, you could go here. Right. It kind of has that A-frame. Yeah. That's why uh, I was here, and then had more open face. Yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, reading and calcul- calculating the wave, uh, it's more important, be really selective. And being more selective, that creates the habit as well, uh, because it gets more tempting as you start progressing. It's like, oh, I got it, I got it. And then you know, you just like wait, take one way after another, and you're just wasting energy on you're not taking better waves. And mm-hmm. on the better wave, that's when you can progress and do other things. You know, do have a lot of people here who just goes for wherever they see. Even they're kind of good surfers, they, you know, but they, wherever they see the bump, they, they just go for it. They don't even think that they can, they can just pass it and <laughs> get the second way, which will be better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going for Cora. Unless it's a, you know, small, it's, it's a wave and there's a little section I can do uh, sort of like close out re-entry turn a little bit of some floater. Um, if I'm really desperate, I do that. But in general, I try to wait for the best uh, for the best wave and uh, we be, have more open face. Got it. Cool. All right. Yeah, this was great. Thank you, Yuri. All right. So we have Mr. Marvin. Marvin, you there? What's up? How's it going? <laughs> All right. So, so Marvin, your your pop is amazing. It's like the best pop up I <laughs> Really smooth, you know. Uh, you your your knee, you know, everything is great. Uh, I mean, this is. I think you lost control because it was a twin shin, right? And it just like kind of a little bit. Yeah, I was having problems that day with the twin fin. I should have probably used the quad, but um. yeah, I, that's why you know I on the beyond specifically you don't want to go on a bigger day. You know, anything like over two feet, it's just gonna slide off no matter what. Even if it's a clean day, mm-hmm. it's perfect offshore. Even even if it's a really good uh, medium uh, long period swell. It's gonna slow no matter what because the shin boxes on for the side feet they're like way up top. Yeah, and that's you touch so you, your 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 back foot lands behind mm. um, and, and that's why it's like really going like this shaking. Gotcha. Um, so really like wanna do a quad on a small day, one to two feet, it's playful, fun. You, you can you can do a lot of different things and uh, get a lot of speed. But yeah, yeah. when it gets over thirty feet, you get more speed than the world goes. Crazy, so uh, can't really ask for, for much. So, but you recovered, <laughs> great recovery. <laughs> 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 oh, it's falling, and then it's like, oh, oh no, 
Field goal. I almost ate it right there. I, I, I like slipped out and then I hit a bump and I almost ate it twice, but yeah, I re- miraculously recovered. Yeah. So happening here is like you, your stance here, that's really narrow. Your legs are mm-hmm. too straight up. It looks like you're not even ready for any action on the wave. Mm-hmm. Uh, you just like kind of cruising like you're on the longboard and stuff. You try to uh, move your hands, right? Try to kind of generate speed, uh, but without like proper stance and uh, proper position of hands, uh, you you will not be able to uh, have momentum, like right momentum to do mm-hmm. on yours. Uh, so first, after the pop up, even if you did, if you would, if you didn't <laughs> fall here, right, you would be okay. Yeah. You do like a bottom turn. Uh, what with the, with the hands, you want to just start to get that muscle memory, like one right from here. here. This is fine. This is good. And then you, yeah, well, it, it fall down. But then they kind of like they're like this. Right, mm. like all down all palms. Uh, what do you want to do? You want to keep your back arm. This is like a trailer arm, like mm-hmm. here, like in this position, like your elbow a little bit up. Yeah, and then that's yeah. how you want to go, like that back side and the front side too. But you don't want to go this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. So always have like this kind of, but to relax. Don't like really. <laughs> Put a lot of fresh into it. So be relaxed and then you can do turns and other yeah. things. So kind of is, try to get that memory, muscle memory. Is your back elbow kind of always bent like that, like at a 90 degree angle? Uh, it, depends, it depends on your style and everything. So a lot of some people they like keep it like here. You know, yeah. a lot of shortboards, most shortboards, they they when you when you go, they, they kind of keep it there. I kind of keep it here. I don't know. Just like, I like it. It, it, it's like how you want to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the point is, I guess, to keep that sort of backhand, the trailing hand, like up and kind of ready, right? To, yeah. yeah. To just wait. Yeah, because you just, if you want to do it, any turn, it has to be here, not here. Yep. You cannot do turn from Gotcha. From, unless you're on the long way, you're just cruising. You know, you're using more like your bottom, not upper body, but just more like a hips here and there, you know, yep. like cozy. But if you want to do more aggressive turns, you know, more like around turns on, on the board, you want to put more momentum with, the, with hands. Mm-hmm. That's going to open up more shoulders and everything. And, uh, and tuck your back knee uh, more inward. Uh, that will open up your chest. On the body facing the uh, the way. Cool. I actually am going to show you what I do on the backside. So even on that clip, my 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 shoulders are very closed, kind of not really open to the wave. Like in that in that clip, I should probably be a little more open. Or yeah, um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you see, like you, you, it's not even like half. It's like a halfway open it's not even open yeah, yeah. Way, like sideway uh you kind of like this going and then looking it's not even open, open up even. yeah like, like at 50 percent that's like it's not even open you, <laughs> you're looking all just with your with your head in the back yeah i see the way but you're not doing yeah. anything it tends to open up more uh so and then i have the same issue with um with the knee, uh, it's what I need to work more. And I always have to tell myself this knee needs to be really like pointing here. Mm-hmm. Or feel like it's kind of sticking out. Yep. But it has to be more inward. Um, gotcha. At that point, your body will open up to to the face of the wave. Mm-hmm. So it's that makes sense. Then, mm-hmm. it will, it will, it will, also, it's a, uh, it's a if you dial that uh, muscle memory and improve it, it's going to help you more to do this cutbacks and round turns and everything. That's the uh, fundamental. 
move yeah. uh, party position for any um, turns. Yeah, like yeah. That. So with Might the, okay. So that's kind of like a combination thing. In order to open up your shoulders, you should also like drop your knee a little bit, and that'll yeah, turn knee, your knees are important. Yeah, knees important. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, one way when I surf, I some ways I do tuck in, some ways I don't, and then if that's it's like, ah, oh, damn, I didn't do it. I have to always remind myself, hey, drop me a little bit more, and then at that point I can I can do better turn, and it's it's really obvious. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, my back Yeah. So, I mean, of course, it is like a wave. But still, that's a nice hands. wave. Wow. Yeah. So you see my knee, and my my hands, like always, like kind of. Yeah. Like, kind of gives you momentum, and I throw them in front. And then I don't do much uh, throwing on the bigger board. This is actually seven, not beyond. You know, it's um, okay. I let the boards work as well uh, because it's. Uh, not a short board to throw around and easy. When you do that on the bigger board, then it, feels really, it looks bad. <laughs> it feels like you're kind of really like forcing the board to do to pump. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to find more momentum in that mid length, not yeah. uh, not do much short boarding. So, mm. so uh, on the back side, it's harder than the front side. Front side generating speed is easier uh, than the, the back side. So on the back side, I try to spin. A bit more relaxed than you know try to do less less mm -hmm. like throwing versus like front side front side i can i like to generate speed more you know kind of pump on the line throw my arms in front uh because i feel like i can generate more speed and do um different things it's just me uh i mean some people did both the same way but that side is uh, always uh harder to, to to generate speed right it's uh it's, it's really an uncomfortable position too and uh, trying to do different things and uh yeah. hard to see the way sometimes yeah. uh so let me clean this thing quickly all right so um so this is me going Going, 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 and then I see I, I see this face, and mm. what happened here is the wave, right? This area, right, is no power at all. So, would you, it doesn't make sense to go further down. You're gonna just mm -hmm. lose speed. So here I have large speed. What I usually do when you see this kind of face, you wanna just Go up here and then come back and do that round turn, like round house come back. Uh, and on beyond is so easy too. It 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 it, it, it keeps the speed uh, throughout the turn. Um, mm -hmm. So nothing else I can see uh, to do here. I mean, you this is what you want to uh, kind of aim for uh, to achieve on the beyond um, because. You know, different boards they serve differently, right? Some some boards you can just chill, uh, like a, I would say, if it's a single fin, uh, you would have to wait for a little bit longer, draw different lines. So on the beyond, it's really responsive, and you can swing that board faster. So you don't mm -hmm. have to go for a really long uh, drawing line. You can really like do this. Round turns uh, in a shorter distance. Yeah. So anyway, let's go further. So I I do a little bit snap, and then from here I just turn, and then hit that white water. Oh, wow. So this is how I. Prefer to serve beyond, like when I when it's like clean, more open face, go a little bit up. I, in general, I could have probably like do round turn here, 
already yeah. without the snapping, but I kind of lost time. And then I decided, okay, now, <laughs> now I'll do it. So, and this is the second wave. And then you can always uh, practice that, uh, you know, kind of pig dog, mm. uh, a little bit tuck in and get a little coverage. And then here again, like I see this, this section flatten out yep. here. It's already flat here. It's like almost done. And then you always try to want to try to finish up with the, uh, with the, with the cut back. Uh, you see about my knee. I could have uh, tucked in my knee more and it would be better, much better. It would look way better. You'd be able to put more into the into the cutback or the, that top turn? Yeah, so when you put that, then it would probably be more aggressive. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, uh, where is the second? Yeah, this is the backside too. So I'll show you that uh, what's my hands doing here again. And then swing. And mm. this, this way, the knee tucked in a little bit more. A little bit. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. And then I do another round turn. Uh, so we, so in, your, in your case here, if you move your back foot, you could still do that turn as well. So if you move a little bit further down your back, and then mm -hmm. you would uh, stay lower, uh, not on the straight legs. Uh, yeah. Try to kind of get used to that stance, be more uh, stay lower when you, when mm -hmm. you surf, right? Even if you kind of see, oh, there's nothing else, to, but there's still face on, on the wave. Uh, so. From here, if you would move your back foot a little bit back, uh, yeah. and then lower a little bit, and uh, and then you could have generate a little bit speed, and then come back to the pocket. Yeah. Do, so do you, you feel... and then come back here? Okay. I think I I I find myself adjusting my feet a lot on even on the six eight. Is that something that is that a bad hat? Because I, I guess it's coming from riding bigger boards like uh, my eight footer. I would, you know, I would surf it from the middle. And then if I wanted to do a turn, I would step back a little bit. Um, so I feel like on this, I, I'm kind of doing, I'm moving my feet a lot. So maybe that's not necess as necessary on, on a board, on this board. I, I don't know. Uh, the back foot, mostly. Okay. I. I always move my back foot. Okay. Yeah, that's what you need to do. I mean, it's you. You. You should not be stationary. Like yeah. the way you pop up and then not moving your your feet. Mm -hmm. uh, you you move your feet depending on what uh, the wave is doing and what you need to do. So gotcha. you don't even hit. It. If you feel like you need to move step back, that's good. Uh, you know, they 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 will land right above the fins and they will allow you to turn. So one. You know, bear. Uh, so, okay. But you generally, I, okay. Generally, the why a little wider stance on on I should be looking for and mm -hmm. on this one you're you're thinking okay. Yeah, and and on over here you basically are right in the middle. Your 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 back foot is right on the above the team. Yeah, you have no control over the board at this point. Uh, well, you could, if here you already recover it, you could do a couple turns and then you could, you could do easily around turn. Uh, so you could just uh, look for this pocket. That's where you want to be. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to be on them. You know, just in general, on, on any board, you want to look for the way to do turn and then come back here. And that's going to slingshot you further. And I'm gonna give you like extra speed. Okay. So you could, uh, yeah, if you would do already here that, that turn, this uh, pocket would push you further. So it's still going, and then you could end it up with maybe a slaughter. Yeah, yeah. And I then, see that a lot in my in my videos. I'm like, 
oh, the wave's still going, but I <laughs> I messed it up. And the solo shot still follows the wave <laughs> when I kick out of it. And I'm like, oh, what a wasted section over there. Second wave. Uh, and the wave looks like short, really short. Uh, again, pop up so quick, perfect. You know? uh, but here, you kind of wasn't sure, I guess, what's going on, right? What you doing? So it looks like you were trying to do the kind of cut back, right? And then you realized the wave is done, right? I'm kicking out. Is yeah. that what happened? Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't anticipate how short it would be. I was hoping the end section would jack up a little bit, I guess. And then when I saw it didn't, I was just like trying to make something else happen, but. Okay, so here, uh, what you want to aim your case, you want to start doing that uh, speed generation because, you know, like Fred, you have your, your pop great, your, your, your angle right size and everything. So next step for you is like throw your arms in front of you and start generating that first pump, first uh, speed pump. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. That will give you a little bit of extra speed that you can uh, you can you can use to do uh, the cutback. Really. Yeah. So here, like you popped up, and you just like not we're not doing it. You were just like writing. Yeah. This arms down, and you just like oh okay done. <laughs> Yeah, okay. No, I see. I see. So, so you're right saying, here, yeah. yeah, okay. Like right from here, you pop up straight, throw your arms in front of you, pump one, and then from here, you could instead of turning down, you could just still go here and then come back here. Even mm -hmm. this wave kind of small, but you can still. Do a little turn here. This is mm -hmm. enough space to do the turn if you have speed. Because if yeah. you have speed, you just you lost it all the time. From here, if you had more speed, you would be already uh, you would be already here somewhere, and you could wrap around and turn. Mm -hmm. The face is actually perfect. Honestly, it's not steep. It's like perfect open up open face here. There's no. Speed. Over here, no speed, uh, no no power, but here it's still a little bit power, so you could really turn around. Okay. My my uh, suggestion, that's your guess. <laughs> you do that all the time, like when you're, like this is my front side, and I, I think it's also a habit that I don't, I don't do a first pump right away. I usually pop up and I, maybe I see what's, what's going on first without knowing. Uh, let me show you the front side. Yeah, front, I always, always uh, pump. It's probably this with this shitty wave. It's probably yeah. Yeah. Boom. See? Okay. Easily, like I pop up. Yeah. Even that little pump makes a difference. One, already you got spit. Two, this wave is really shitty. Three, pump, pump, pump the board. And then I'm gonna like turn a little. Mm. But doing that, you can still mm. train the muscle memory to start doing mm. turns, returns and going back to the pocket. So even like from this, like a shitty wave, you can still get something out of it. Pass this light water quickly and then turn. Mm. Uh, let's see another one with the front side. Because on a bigger day, you don't have to do a lot. It's, it's, unless it's like a really fast wave, like this one. Yeah, I didn't have to because there's a lot of speed already I got from the takeoff. Yeah. Um, sometimes you get too much speed and then you have to really like uh, slow slow down because sometimes when beyond it's like section so steep, you get too much speed and then even if you do the turn, uh, you will fall. Usually I fall uh, because it's 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 too much momentum to have. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's, it, it depends on the uh, way you want to pump. Like on this wave, see, I, I pumped straight from the takeoff. Boom, get more speed because I knew the waves are fast and I had to get that speed immediately. If it's uh, like this, this wave again, I pump again, 
previously and uh, to beat the sections, this close down sections. This is that side. All right, uh, so if we go back to your wave, uh, yeah, from here, throw your arms, pump, pump. The, the wave, the swell was really weak. So you have to really consider that as well. When it's like a six to eight second, it's really weak. Not much power you get from the wave. Uh, so mm -hmm. you really need to work on generating your own speed. So, uh, but once you know how to generate speed, throwing your arms and get that, knowing that you can, with one pump, you can get extra, like, extra speed then you don't have to do it often so you you'll just feel it um, okay i need to get a little speed to do this turn so but for now what you can do is just try to pop up try to work mm -hmm. on that throwing arms in front but not above your shoulders shoulder level just like this boom boom so and that will kind of create the muscle memory to to learn how to get that speed all right, wave number three. Again, great pop up. And there's so much stuff we missed. And over here, I just did slow motion. It popped up. Really great. Great style. And then here, you could you could do already like a cutback. It's like a perfect face, perfect shape, right from here. Mm. Cut back. Back to the pocket. When you see something like this, this kind of shape, feel like it's going from the top down, right? This is amazing face to do the cutback. This is what you actually need to aim for. And uh because if it's if it's not like that, if it's like this, right, the whole face here, right, there's no time to do cutbacks. So it depends on the wave and form. Uh, you do different maneuvers, in general. Mm -hmm. uh, so will, if once you see when you pop up and you see like this kind of, I would call it taper form, I believe, like this, mm -hmm. then you can see like a, don't even hesitate to do start doing cutbacks. Okay. Because it's like really, this face, it's open. It's not, yeah. Open. Right? And then when you come back here, you will get extra speed and then move on and maybe another, another cutback. And then what happened after that? So you, did, you would be doing like this cutback already. One cutback, maybe two, not really, but then you would generate, if you would generate speed here of the cutback, one, two pump. So you didn't have speed, you could shoot and ride over this foam and get here. This is an amazing section to do the floater. Mm. Gotcha. But even if you wouldn't do uh, the cutback, right? You would. If you would just shoot down line, right? As I told you, from here you would just bump, right? Like doing getting speed. Speed, 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 throw your arms, and then would shoot over, you would still be able to, mm. uh, you know, ride over the section. Uh, and it depends on what you want to target, what you uh, want to work on. You can just focus on one thing. Maybe you can just, you just want to focus. Maybe it will be easy for you just to ride the foam, that white water foam. And then from there, you can you just work on your generating speed because uh, it's like a serial line. You get too much speed, then you can lose control and the turn will fall on the turn mm -hmm. because there will be too much speed. There's a, there's a certain speed you need to do that combat. If it's too much, you will uh, lose the balance and the momentum. You know? mm -hmm. uh, it's like a driving yeah. car like, uh, and doing turns, right? If it's too much speed, then <laughs> you will just fall, you know, speed yeah. off. So the same thing with surfing, you need to feel that speed, uh, what do you need to do that cutback? It's not like, oh, one speed, whatever speed you get, you can cut back. You know, there's a certain speed that's too much, it's sometimes bad. Uh, but maybe you just want to focus on generating speed and finish up 
more sections with the with the floaters riding over mm -hmm. the small uh, yeah, yeah. You know, and and then from there once you start feeling that you can generate people from wherever right then you can start feeling okay now let me just do the conduct you know i know how to generate speed i even if i'm in the pocket and back in the pocket i'll just do a couple uh, speed pumps yeah. and then do them. so you know like all right I'm, i will never miss the section and uh doing the floaters and foam you want to timing that right as well but this is much easier to learn here in Rockaway because they have really bad closeouts, <laughs> you know, a lot of closeouts. And this is really perfect to learn, uh, to, 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 to learn that. Uh, not everywhere. If you surf in wave rate, there's not much. I mean, it's just always perfect and you won't be able to learn it properly. And the only closeouts at the really shallow spots where it's almost to learn that. So if you know how to learn it here, you'll be able to do it anywhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but to write that, uh, white form, you want to shoot from here where it's not it's not breaking yet. This, this section is already breaking. You're already late. So you want to shoot from here and then go here. Like this. Yeah. That's the perfect setup. Uh, that's it. Uh, and the way you ended up, you, you ended up too early. It didn't even hit. Because yeah. I didn't have some speed. Basically. Not speed, and then you also like start to go a little early to the top yeah. from here. You mm. should be here, like this. Yeah, I, I, you know what? To be honest, I don't even think about doing a floater when I see a closeout section like that. Even if it's like that, where it's nice to be a float to to, to do a floater, I'm like, oh, let's get out of the way. You know, that's like my mentality right now. Like, let's steer away from it so I don't get smashed. So that's um, a good. Uh, it's, 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 it's enjoyable, honestly. Like you may eat a little bit, you know, in the, while you're learning. Sometimes you can be late. You can shoot yeah. from here. And maybe that uh, leap will push you down, and you will fall. That's yeah, what yeah, happens. Yeah. When, if you are in a perfect position, if you are really early from here mm -hmm. shooting, are you gonna feel that nitro like on the car? Like <laughs> it's gonna, mm. and if you are, you'll, you'll fly over the foam. And you just lie down. Uh, it's just uh, a little technique that you should apply to go. You need speed. Uh, without speed, you will be just pushed down and, and fall. Yeah. Uh, but to get there, you need that speed. Shoot down and then throw your arms in front, like more further up. Mm -hmm. not, not, when you generate speed, it doesn't have to go up over your shoulder level. When you do the floor, or like that white floor climb, you want to throw a little bit up in the air like this. And then once they up, go back to yourself, I mean, to your body like this, and then look to the beach. That's where you want mm -hmm. to go, you know, like this. All right, next wave, wave number three, um, and wave number four. Oh okay, yeah, this is the backside. Pop up, really good pop up, really <laughs> nice. It's so smooth. Your pop up is great. It's really smooth. <laughs> Here, yeah, you you're, you're relaxed, and that's it. And uh, roll it. Uh, again, if you do start doing those uh, moves with arms. Generating mm -hmm. speed a little more. Uh, and let's see. So I would do over here, I would start pumping a little bit, you know, try to try to maybe flop your board a little bit, right? That motion. Uh, and then you could do, since it's really fat, it's a fat wave, right? Mm -hmm. there, there's no point to go down because you're just going to right without power no with no speed uh you can do you can you should go back here just uh come back here right and and it's gonna push you down down line yeah. it's gonna give you more speed and, uh, so you don't have to work hard and you know losing 
momentum and stuff. So, uh, so from here, uh, you go here and then you come back, turn your board back to the pocket. Mm -hmm. and, and wait, you just write and then wait for until this opens up a little bit here. It starts to open up a little bit, gets steeper. And then you could have finish up by writing, hitting this form a little bit. Yeah. But just some small maneuver will create a habit and, uh, you know, muscle memory to, to do this maneuver more and more and get more comfortable. Because this, mm -hmm. this, this uh, corner wasn't critical. It was pretty fun, you know. Start doing with those ones, like tiny ones, start with small ones if you want to, if you feel comfortable. And then yep. once they get bigger, go with the bigger ones. <laughs> yeah. All right. Just, uh, there. I mean, the, the, the ways are not good either, but this is something that you can try to milk out of it. Just to mm -hmm. it. You know, I'm not saying that it's, you could do 100% that. I mean, I probably wouldn't. Maybe I won't be able to do that too, but this is something, some potential. I see what I would probably try to do on the, this tree later. <laughs> yeah, even just like trying to keep that in my head, you know, so that. Yeah. Visual, visualize like, okay, this is what's happening. Okay, this place is already fat. Let me go back to the pocket and then see what's going to offer further. Yeah. Sometimes when you're in the pocket, you get that extra speed and then yeah, the, the place may open up immediately like a few seconds where and then you can just like you know pump pump and then throw your arms again to, but to the other side mm -hmm. back side to right over that swing same when same principles going front side to throw your arms up in the air to do that floater right white water climb uh, and also to clarify the white water climb and floater are little different things they kind of go together in some way uh but the floater you're riding kind of parallel to the beach mm -hmm. like and then you slow you go down like when you, when you feel like you're done then you go towards the beach and then the white water climb you pointing up to the face and then turning around to the to the beach it's already kind of breaking section already okay. but the floater is almost breaking but the, there's still a little bit space between the foam and the bottom of the wave and you feel like you are really uh, in the air, like kind of mm -hmm. gravity, space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, wait number five. Yeah, I see, not ready on anything. Yeah. You go right, hands down, what's next? And that's it, right? Yeah. So, if, yeah, again, if we spoke, keep your hands, right? Right spot, uh, knee tucked in, very much, mm -hmm. right? And then if you would just keep maintaining that, boom, 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 you have to a little bit speed. And then you could throw arms here in front and then right over this end section. Here, like, this is late. This is late already. See, like, it's already kind of closed. The lip is closing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took a little early. From here, you could have finished up here. Uh, and it actually looks, looks sick. Like, when you do this, even this maneuver, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it probably feels really good. When you're doing that, yeah, just focus on that. I mean, I, you'll be uh, progressing much faster. I think cutbacks it, it will take long time to figure out because the, you need the perfect pace, you need the certain serum when you can do that. It's not like on every wave you can do it here in Akaway, you can do on every pretty much wave this floater, or I mean, like white water climb and all that stuff, right? Yeah. On, the, on the cutback, the roundhouse cutback, and Etc. You need a certain condition, certain way, certain tight. When you can re really learn that, you know, mm -hmm. it's not it's not always perfect. You no, know, sometimes it's too steep. You can't do that because you don't have time. Uh, you need like a little slower weight and uh, to to get the feel of it. Yeah. Right. So. Sounds and like. Yeah. Hmm? 
Rhode Island, maybe for cutbacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Well, here, like mid to high tide, a little bit fatter, uh, you know, oh, yeah. then you can really work on that mind, just like that corner on the right. It's sometimes like perfect. It just, it just stays open. You come back and then can learn that muscle memory. Mm-hmm. Uh, but not every day. This is once you learn that, once you figure out that, then it will be easier. You will you will do it faster and faster, and then you'll be able mm-hmm. to kind of like in a small in a smaller day, smaller board, much easier. Like now, I I, I can do that turn like easy on that uh, mini Siemens because I yeah. already got that muscle memory going. I know like okay, this time right time. But when he's still learning, it you 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 were slower and uh, your wave will pass you. So my main focus right now is to generate speed and thinking about the last move, um, really dropping in and trying to do a first pump right away, but keeping my arms below my shoulders as I'm pumping. Right. Uh yeah, with this not too far up. Yeah. The, yeah. The, like here, this. Mm. Uh, let me show you. Maybe I have it somewhere. And also tucking my knee. In. That's something I need to focus on too. Yep. Um, see. Let's see another. Oh, there. Yeah, this way. This way, I think I pumped. See, pump, pump. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's like again, delayed a little bit. Like what I want to do. Then I saw this section, and then this. Like, yeah. Water. Yeah. So the key is like when the new pop up, you see my pop up is really awkward. My knee doesn't tuck in until like I start riding, then it tucks in a little bit. But this is my problem with my front side. When I do switch, the knee tucks in for <laughs> some reason. <Like> they should... <laughs> but for some reason, it's just my stretching is a little off and it just doesn't go right. Uh, so hmm. look, kind of like a close to shoulder level. But they need to, they need to be synced up. They might they're a little bit all over the place. Since then, I got to improve a little bit. But and then when you go for the floater, see my I'm kind of like compressed, and then throw my arms. It should be two arms up, not one. Yeah. And then you just kind of let it do it things. And then once you go down, then you keep your arms close like this, not here, like this, and mm-hmm. then here in balance. Awesome. Let me see this one. This one I didn't have. See this? It's because I saw this face, really perfect face to do cutback. Like this yeah. is what I'm talk- talking about. Uh, this shape, see? Once you see this shape, this is the cutback spot. Mm-hmm. There's no point to just pump, pump, pump. Once you see that, <laughs> this is like money. Money plays uh, like a jackpot. <laughs> do the cut back. Yeah. And then I figured it out that I just just have to remember. Um, okay, this is the shape. Okay, let me do cut back. And uh, depending on the face, and you start to realize what maneuver can apply to that on the way. Yeah. Uh, so. See, I wouldn't do that. If I saw this wave, I would just keep pumping down a line <laughs> until I get to the end and like kick out, kick off. <laughs> Kick off. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you I can. Just... It will just slow down at the end because you got too yeah, flat. Yeah. Right? No, yeah. So now, once you see this face next time, you you really want to like do cut back here. Like turn back to the pocket. And you see the pocket, there's no much, it pushes me, it gives me a little speed. And then again, I got the gain speed and then I did another mm. at the end. And this is the backside. So my knee tucked in a little bit, and then you see my arms again swinging, and then it gives like a little turn. Mm. Uh, next one, this one, did I pump here? Yeah. yeah, a little bit. And this face is already kind of closing out, so I think I did like a just check turn quickly on the top, and then keep that. Uh, this is called close out re-entry. So from here, uh, so pump, pump, pump. The, if you were you, if it was you, you probably would pump down the line nonstop, right? Yeah. Uh, it's me, it's me, I just did this check turn a little, to slow down and see what's next. Because there's yeah. no time to cut back here because it's already like kind of almost 
what I do when I when I write, I target see further down what's happening in this area. If I see already this thing start to leap, right? Like mm. already moving up to close out, I'm already thinking, okay, this is probably close out reentry or floater or white core climbs, either one. Right? And if I was maybe on a short board, I would do cutback. Uh, would be easier, smaller boards. I would be able to come back to the pocket quickly. But if it's a it's a six eight, it's not much time to do this. Yeah, uh, so much long uh, array ra- ra- line. Uh, so I just like did quick, quick check turn to the top, boom, and then I pump, and then I compressed. And this was already kind of late, but. It's still kind of work, gonna work for you. Uh, for you. Uh, close out reentry. It's when you go to the top and hit that uh, leap. Mm. Uh, uh, this white form pushes the board down like this. Mm-hmm. It's help, it helps you to uh, change the direction of your board, so you don't have to do that. So when you hit that, and then the the the, the wave will push you back, and yeah. you will turn. So that's like close out reentry uh, turn. A really cool maneuver as well. Because I didn't my bear, I didn't even ride uh, the white water. I just like turn quickly because the, mm-hmm. the, the that uh, foam hit me, and that's it. So this is another thing you can do. Go from there. It's uh so the three three maneuvers look kind of the same, but the little difference between you can yeah. go more sharpen out. <laughs> uh, next one, uh, see pump, 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 and it's already like kind of closing out. And I ride over, and then this is close out reentry game. So if you went and and like rode it more parallel to the beach, it would be a floater. That's kind of the difference between. Yeah, yeah. If I have more speed. Yeah, if you have more, okay, okay. If I would be riding still, like here, like this, and yeah, then yeah, you know. further, that's the floater. This one's still, I did like this, this is close out re entry. But if they were like more form and stuff, that would be form right now. Like we're a client, pretty much. And I would probably go further down. That's the point, actually, of uh, the point of um, white war climb is going up and then continue riding. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, well, I know a lot of things for me. Let me see in which way if I do that. I think this one. So I'm going fast wave. See? And I, this, I rolled it over. Oh. All right. So from here, the white water climb, it's you're riding over a little bit. And it shoots you that further, and then you continue riding. So that's uh, that's white work climb, pretty much. That's amazing. Yeah, and that's uh, I believe I was on the twin film here. Oh man, on the beyond. So I was. I'll be so down. happy if I can do that. <laughs> so you did oh, like almost. Oh. You did two there. It looks like right. You did like one section, and then one section stayed open, and then you did another. Yeah, yeah, that was actually a fun day. It, it was really solid as well. I mean, too, it got me too much, a lot of a lot of speed down the line, and just uh, but nothing else I could do. Uh, I could do probably some snaps if I was able to do like her, uh, better, but I was just aiming down the line this floaters and uh, you know white water climb and all these things, and I was only focused on that for a good time. I mean, for for a long time, for probably half a year, I. Spent I just committed for it. Yeah. Um, and that's why I was suggesting you to start doing just the f- speed generation and floaters and, and all these things at the end. Uh, and uh, and then you can progress from there to cutbacks and round turns and all those things. So that's awesome. All my waves were <laughs> basically sh- shoot down line, just generating with a lot of speed and finish up that section at the end. Uh, so- some ways I was focused on turns. You know when like you have you get waves like this. This is amazing shape to do the uh, to to do the cutbacks and you know the um, and turns. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
like because they have again this kind of shape like this when you see that this is the perfect shape to do cutbacks then going back side and uh and that's what i was doing oh, let me show you and you know the wave shape even before you're paddling you see it coming and you can tell that it's going to be it's going to make that shape or do you only notice that when you drop in uh usually when i drop in because okay. <laughs> the chance, <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> you see from here i cannot even see exact sometimes you know, it, sometimes you can hit the different sandbar and it will just be close out okay so you cannot really say hey i'm gonna do the cutback on this way particularly it's like when you drop in already here you can ah. really see okay what i'm gonna do now all right mm -hmm. let me just do this this is like a really kind of top turn and then from here i think i did the cutback uh, i mean the um, cutback yeah so from here so i did this top turn where i could actually do already roundhouse cutback if i had a little bit more speed if it would generate yeah. some people they can do generate speed on the bottom turn they do like a little hop i'm still not there <laughs> this is like next level uh, uh, to be more comfortable to do that uh but if i was on a shorter board which would pivot faster i would be able to mm -hmm. do that but since on the beyond six eight i had to take a little bit more time uh to do this bottom turn and then <laughs> Did a little snap, and then from here I, was, I had enough already good speed, and then I decide still the shape is still the same, right for the cutback, and then I was just turning around and ended up in the pocket, which pushed me again further, gave me a little speed to do another turn. So that's more. That's why more. It's more important, really important to to work with the pocket, and when you have uh, these type of conditions. Uh, really like long boring wave. Uh, and what you can do is, uh, it looks like you were trying to go up top to do top turn. Yeah. I can only see here the potential. If you would, so you popped up here and then you would just pump, one pump, two pumps. It's definitely enough time to do the cutback like this roundhouse cutback. Mm -hmm. so, so when you see that it's it's uh, open like that and you kind of have time, try to go to the pocket back, right? Mm -hmm. Do a little like kind of uh, more round turn. So go to the pocket and then it will shoot you. It will give you speed. So this is only. Yeah. That's the only suggestion I can give you on this kind of conditions when you're surfing on, on beyond. Yeah, that's why I kept this part. I was like, oh, that guy is getting a nice wave right behind me. Wish I had a longer board. <laughs> yeah, you could do like here, here, you could move your back foot a little bit back, you know, back foot. Mm. Like to, mm -hmm. to like, this is the, uh, where is the middle of the board it's here, and there's another side. So it could move a little bit here. Ah. If you if you were going for the for the turn, you know, and yeah. do things. If you're just cruising, it's fine. But if you want to do a little bit uh more turns and stuff, it could move a little bit. So here you could generate it, you could still work, you know, doing this manual move to get more speed, yeah. speed, speed and I see the section at the end open over here right over this and finish it up. No, kind of right over the top. If it doesn't have to be like kind of close out. If you see, don't, don't close, just try to write uh, from the middle part of the wave to the top, uh, not go to the bottom of the wave. Okay. There's no power in the bottom. Mm. Yeah, the, the bottom's for me, man. <laughs> no, I have that bad habit too, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm like trying to do too much where I should probably not try to do so much. And yeah, and this one again too, to this last section, that's like a perfect a little bit right over that foam. Yeah. Not, not much you can do. I mean, honestly, with this wave, I wouldn't do a lot of things. I would just do this thing at the end 
uh, after I see this like close out. Yeah, close out reentry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like right over that form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So from here you pop up, and then you move to the top. I don't know because you. So you're gonna do get more speed. You think? I was hoping. Yeah, I was. I was going so slow that the waves were so mushy and slow that. Yeah, was yeah you, you don't. You didn't have to. Honestly, uh, you could just leave it as 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 it is there. So it would be over the fins. Now you kind of moved to the back, but there is no momentum, no setup for it. Mm. Uh, you see, uh, so from here you could already set it up. Like if you were there, you would be already here, ready. Well, and then you could um, do cut back. Yeah. I mean, you did cut, cut, cut back real good, but uh, it wasn't the cut back. You want, when you do cut back, you want to really aim for, uh, to hit this spot. Gotcha. If you land here, it doesn't give you speed. To go back into the You're going to have to wait until it rebounds you, pushes you. When you hit mm. here, this is like jackpot. This is what I noticed. Like, it, it just, it's just great. <laughs> <laughs> And then, I mean, proper uh, roundhouse is hitting here, but when you do cutback, you just hit land here somewhere in the middle, and then you just uh, push your footer down. So awesome! I just these little things where you are, where you are now at your stage is just easier to fix right now, and something more will be beneficial, I think. Because uh, if you go somewhere else, it's just you you can progress even if you surf in California. You can get stuck in the same level and a lot of people they don't progress unless they do analysis and figure out things yeah. super helpful here so yeah hopefully next video i submit will have me uh standing up straight <laughs> and popping up angled you know yeah, you're gonna ask me how to get barrel like if i'd ask me how can i get barrel like <laughs> it's like okay <laughs> uh skip hi guys steps, you know all right. Jump in. Yeah. Thank you so much, Yuri. This yeah, is yeah. Much appreciated. Yeah, All man. Right. Enjoy the rest of your vacation, Yuri. Thank you. Ooh, thank yeah, I'm going to jump in. It looks like the wind is still on shore. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Later, guys. Bye, guys.